ready to go at Young Arena on this Friday evening. And it looks like all the off-ice officials are set as well. So we can get this game going between the Waterloo Blackhawks and Lincoln Stars. And now we are, in fact, underway with the opening draw controlled by Lincoln, but then given up. Baker snaps one off the right wing boards, and deep it goes counter point. Flicks one into the slot. It's deflected Sambuco. Bangs shoulders with Pionk, who then he knocked down to the ice. Meanwhile, Geary found it behind the hawk net, wedged it back towards the line, but not out. Hart held it in. Power play time all but over, and now it is. Hawks back at full strength. Hart from the right point, flicked one toward the net, and Spicer made the stop, lunges, and couldn't keep it out. It's knocked across the goal line just after the power play time ended. Lincoln takes a 1-0 lead at 4-0-1 of the second period. Daniel Sambuco, the former Blackhawk, got to the front of the net and knocked it across the line. He was the player who the Blackhawks thought should have been in the penalty box and who wants to keep it in. Fernandez trading spots with Buckberger, tries a wrist shot, Spicer the save, rebound cleared to the line by Geary, tipped, and it does not get out, held in with the Hawks able to take it away, and now Geary knocked down, and play continues as the puck shot down into the Lincoln zone. Whitehead stopping it behind his net, now gave it up. It's fed in front, Shifsky shoots, he scores! Here come the Hawks! Shifsky out of the box, capitalizing on the turnover that the Stars gave up in their defensive zone. Waterloo, shortly after the successful penalty kill, gets back even as Garrett Shifsky scores his eighth of the season on a turnover by Whitehead after 21 saves from Cameron Whitehead, a mistake. And the Blackhawks capitalize with Owen Baker getting it. Got to the referee's crease, pushed it across the Lincoln line. Stars have it back. And Lincoln tries to come out. They will get it back to center with Larrigan now. Poke check, puck taken away. Beatty couldn't get a shot away. Leaned on by Larrigan. Picked up by Flynn for Renzel. He shoots. Whitehead the save, rebound, Waterloo scores! It's stuffed in by David Klee! His first USHL goal, and here come the Hawks to the lead for the first time after the Stars turnover right near the blue line. Renzel's shot left free for a rebound that Klee pokes in, and Waterloo in front, 2-1 to one at the 11-minute mark of the second period. The Stars scored first, but back-to-back. -back. Pionk gets a swat at it. But it's held in by Peters on the right wing boards. Checked by Baker, wedged it out to the neutral zone. Hillman pursuing, shorthanded. Hillman's going to get a chance across the slot. Backhander, he scores! A shorthanded goal for Miles Hillman. And here come the Hawks on top by two. Hillman patient with that. Went all the way across the top of the crease from left to right and found room to lift it up over Whitehead's left pad. Give Baker credit for another key assist. And Hillman the goal, making it 3-1. Waterloo second shorthanded goal for the Hawks this season, second in as many games. Fifth goal of the year for Miles Hillman. 3-1 Waterloo at fifth. Dallying, waiting for some help as he goes to the right wing corner with it. Then for Beatty, back for Flynn, didn't see it coming in time. Chasing it down left boards though for Beatty behind the net now. Challenged by Hart, Klee comes to help out, wedged it in front, now it's Pionk, left point, wrist shot, he scores! Here come the Hawks! Aaron Pionk used traffic at the front of the net and fired it inside the post at the stick side of Whitehead. Here come the Hawks with four unanswered in this period. And at 18.02 of the second, it's a 4-1 Waterloo lead. Another really good effort by that Clee, Beatty, Flynn group. And Pionk. Lincoln line, he was hooked. He still has the stick in his equipment. Gets a shot away. It was blocked and the whistle set. And then a slash on Erdman by Hart. After the whistle, he came over and slashed the Black Hawk Erdman. And I think Hart's going to get away with that. There's the initial penalty. But the slash... I think might go unseen, maybe not. They're gonna call both penalties. So Hart and Kressberg Rosine both sent to the penalty box and it's a full two minutes of five on three power play time for the Blackhawks. Up four to one with 118 left to go in the second period. 
Lindbergh again, puck got away from him. It's cleared by the Stars. Spicer comes out to settle the rolling puck. Saucers it to Rinzel, a dozen seconds left before intermission. Here's Hoang, getting a feed, moving in, shooting. He scores! James Hoang with a goal in five consecutive games. A five-on-three power play goal with 8.3 seconds left in the second period. It's five unanswered for the Blackhawks. A 5-1 Waterloo lead at 19.51 of the seconds. Rinzel got back out to center. Lindbergh's try turned aside by Massey, and the Stars now dump it in. Deep in the Blackhawk zone, Lincoln gets control, but a centering feed intercepted by Lindbergh for Schiffsky, flying out to center on right wing. Schiffsky to the offensive zone, pulls up right circle, centers one, a shot, and O'Connell scores wide open side. What a pass by Schiffsky on his backhand, and O'Connell there to collect it and fire it by no chance for Massey. It's 6-1 Waterloo as Gavin O'Connell adds his name to the list. Six different goal scorers as O'Connell has his third of the season and a terrific setup from Garrett Schiske to make it happen. 2-14, the time of the goal. Plays it behind is back to Fernandez. Chased behind his net by O'Connell. And now able to get it to neutralize. Marcellus turns back into his own zone. Wings the pass through center. Fernandez crossing into the Hawks end. Back for Marcellus. Put it in front. Lincoln scores. Tapped in by Bidens. The former Cedar Rapids rough rider Carson Bidens evens up the period. But the Hawks still lead by four at 9.23 of the third. Bidens the finish. And for Carson Bidens, it's his first goal in 11 games this season. Five now for the Stars, six with Cedar Rapids. Marcellus, the setup, flicks the puck behind his net. Kerr looks at the clock, and he's going to try to hold the puck along the end wall. Ludke took it away, couldn't center. It's around the wall, back to the line, not out, but cue up the final horn. Hawks win. Waterloo defeats the Lincoln Stars. 6-2 6-2 at Young Arena. A five-goal second period after the Scars had scored first. Waterloo makes it happen with a big response to that first goal of the game. And the Hawks prevail by four. 6-2. The Hawks have won five in a row. The longest winning